Yes, you got a signal problem on your DSTV. You got E48 error message. Why? Obviously, if you got E48 error message, that means you don't have a good signal. And why you don't have a good signal? Hello, follow me on the video and then you will understand why you didn't have the good signal. Okay, you know at home you got LMB cable going to the back of your decoder. And then I will tell you always check if your LMB cable is well connected to your decoder. Always check if your LMB cable is well connected to your F connector before being connected to the decoder. And then I will show you in this video how to connect properly with simple way at home by yourself how to connect your LMB cable with the F connector and how to screw it properly at the back of your decoder and then you'll be solving the problem of E48 due to the wrong connection yes 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 today we're going to learn how to connect your F connector which is this to your quattro cable or to your connector to your LMB cable for your DSTV most of the time we have a signal problem in our decoder rating e48 due to uh, the wrong connection on your lmb cable and your quaxial cable uh, so that watch to the end you're going to see how we connect it because this is a little bit trick to do so if you don't do it correctly you're going to lose your signal so oh, follow me to do this connection you need you can use a knife like this one you can use the ordinary knife cut you can use a razor blade we're gonna help you you need a cast side cutter with the side cutter like this and then we do the job and then in the end we will need a solid tape to hold it that is the three thing you need so you don't need much things sometimes you lost your signal and then you check at the back of the decoder you realize that the cable the lmb cable is out from the f connector so what do you do so watch nicely this video you'll be able to do your own connection with your lmb cable i use my knife so you can use anything you can cut with i use my knife and then what i do i just cut take my cable i cut it a little bit and be careful that uh, you don't cut your finger so I cut like this watch me nicely I cut like this cut like this so that don't press it light because you don't need you don't want to cut the, the ground the negative part of the cable so we remove this like this this is a homemade anyway so i'm just showing you so that you can do it yourself at home uh, you do this you do this you bring this one down you bring this one down nicely as you finish bring it down you're going to use your knife again you make a space between here and here small space and then you cut it you cut it like this you cut it like this till you find the the one in the middle just turn it like this and then it come out you pull it out you see it come out and then i'm gonna use my f connector now this is the time my f connector i have to go check inside you're gonna see there's a hole inside so i'm gonna push my f connector so that this part will stay on the f on the negative side so I'm gonna push my F connector link in inside. I screw it inside like this. I screw it inside. I screw it inside till you can see. As you can see there, till you can see nicely. See the inside the way it is. The positive must not touch the F. And then you can see the positive is in the middle, so it's not touching the F. Okay. 
so when you do this now we have to cut because it's too long we have to cut this we don't need this to be too long and then when i cut it it become like this and when i cut it it become like this and the last part of it remember i said we're going to use the solid tape so we're going to use the solid tape to hold the f with the box of my f connector properly I use i'm using the black just to show you but it's proper to match the color you can use the the white solid tip and then you do this 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 after putting your solid tip we can cut it and then end of the day we're gonna have our cable we're gonna have you can call it your quark sharp cable or you can call you your LMB cable you're gonna have it like this and then when you check you can see the positive is in the middle the negative is there the positive is not touching the negative because if this positive touching the negative you're gonna lose your signal you, you're not gonna fix your signal so like this I can say we have it done you can use this one as well if you want to join the cable because you can have two cable like this you want to join it you need to do the same thing here and then you can use the joiner you can use the joiner like this this is what i call joiner you can use the joiner you screw it here you screw it here and then uh, because you have you, you put another f connector here you'll be able to join your cable to extend it so today i will just showing you how to put the F connector to the quasha cable or to put your connector to the uh, LMB cable now when you fix your cable like this you'll be able now to put it to your decoder you go to the back of your decoder you choose the one written LMB in and then now you're gonna be able to screw properly your decoder there you screw it and when you screw your decoder like this you screw your decoder like this and then probably you're gonna solve your problem of the signal so uh, the idea in this video is for you to understand that you can have a problem of e48 at home because your signal is not good why your signal is not good because your f connector is not well connected to your quark shell cable and sometimes you can even see LMB cable. So anytime when you don't have signal in your television and you have error, error E48 concerning the DSTV, please go at the back, check your F connector that is well proper connected to your LMB cable. Go at the back, check that your connector is not touching. Your connector, the positive and the negative is not touching and they're not touching each other because if you touch each other as well you will have a problem of signal uh, so this one could be one of the problem one of the reason why you are not having your signal because your f connector is not well connected to your lmb cable there's a more reason because if you find that your connector and your lmb cable is well connected you have to go back and check your dish but there you need a technician that's the way i'm coming from so now if your connector is connected well and then you're still not having the signal now you can call a technician to come and assist you